Ooh, so I'll be honest, uh, I really like Super Mario 64, but I'll be honest, the Mario face behind me kind of creeps me out. Hey everybody, Blood Moon Bobby here, so wow, it's been a good while since I've done one of these videos where I have like the camera right in front of me instead of doing a live stream, so I know it's been crazy, just been doing a ton of uh, reviews of things like Infinity Train Book 3 and The Owl House. I mainly, whenever I do reviews where I go over multiple episodes of a show, I much prefer doing them over a live stream because it gives me a chance to interact with you. And it's also, and it's also just easier for me, me doing a stream where it just keeps going and me and my friend Gabby can just go from episode to episode rather than having to stop and stop for every take so that I could go from one episode to the next. I'm glad to be uh, in front of my uh, DSLR for this video and that is we're going to be talking about uh, Mario today. There was a Nintendo Direct uh, pretty much dedicated to Mario that happened Thursday and there was a whole ton of announcements. I'll have the Nintendo Direct link down below in the description. I mean there were big announcements or things like a port of Super Mario 3D World and enhanced an enhanced version of Super Mario 3D World is coming to the Switch. There's also going to be a version of the original Super Mario Brothers, but it can be played with up to 35 people. And another thing that really caught my eye was there's that Nintendo is going to be releasing a new Game & Watch system that has the original Super Mario Brothers, which I'm pretty sure, even with the pandemic, I'm sure it's going to sell like hotcakes and going to be really difficult to find even on online retailers just like the uh, NES Classic and Super NES Classic was really difficult to find in stores. But I wanted to uh, use this video more so to talk about what I believe is the biggest announcement to come out of this Nintendo Direct and that is Super Mario 3D All-Stars. It's a compilation of three uh, 3D Mario games, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. Polygon says that Nintendo is re-releasing all three of these games together to celebrate the 35th anniversary of the Super Mario Brothers franchise. Nintendo said that the gameplay will be optimized for Switch and the games will be able to play at higher resolutions. More than likely that means in particular Super Mario Galaxy these motion controls will be optional this time and that you don't necessarily need to do the thing like on the Wii where you swung the Wii remote to do. I think you swung the Wii remote to do so Certain to do attacks in Mario Galaxy, but now that's optional. The game will be available in a limited release, both in stores and digitally, on September 18th, and it will be available in stores and digitally until March 31st, 2021. So keep that in mind. This is a limited run production. So if you want to get this compilation, I highly recommend either pre-ordering it on Nintendo eShop or you could also pre-order the physical version online on Nintendo's website. So I basically can, uh, considered this as the uh, most exciting announcement to come out of the, the uh, recent Su Super Mario Nintendo Direct since I think it would be uh, really interesting to revisit these games. Uh, Super Mario 64, I've played mostly through Virtual Console like on the, the Wii U and of course it's a really groundbreaking in game for its 3D graphics, its open worlds and it was basically a really groundbreaking game in the platforming genre. Uh, and it's a really fun game to play and Super Mario Galaxy played it on the Wii I played it I, me and my sister we beat the main story and it's a whole ton of fun with where it has like worlds where you're literally not just going around like a flat ground but you're also like you know going in all around these different worlds and different planets and galaxies and it's definitely a, a really fun game to play every once in a while I like to come back to it every now and then and it also has a nice touch of heart if you go to uh if you in case you don't know there's a character Rosalina you can learn about her backstory and it's it's one of the most like touching stories like it's definitely a feels trip I didn't quite pick up on why a lot of people thought it was feelsy when I was a kid but when I uh, came back to it um, when I got older I was like oh I see what you mean I won't give any way thing away but I thought it was just a really great story and the uh, entire game itself I thought was just a lot of fun for me what would be the freshest experience for me uh, picking up Super Mario uh, 3d all-stars is 
I've never played the original Super Mario Sunshine, and that was mainly because back when the Nintendo GameCube was out, you know, this was when I was go getting into Nintendo, it didn't really occur to me that, you know, oh, I should buy the Mario games like Mario Kart, uh, the game MQ game or all the Legend of Zelda games like you know it didn't really occur to me yet I was just kind of going around and playing games like Pikmin and Animal Crossing games like that and so like I never got the chance to play it my sister did and she and it sounded like she had a good time although it has been years since she got the chance to play Super Mario Sunshine I think it was at a friend's house because we didn't have a copy of that game uh, when we were kids I think it would definitely be a really interesting experience for me to to give a Super Mario Sunshine in a try, maybe even beat it. I mean, me and my sis have beaten a couple of the other Mario games and have gotten uh, quite far in several others. So I'm really interested in trying Super Mario Sunshine um, and seeing how it stands out compared to all the other Mario games in general. I saw footage uh, during the Nintendo and the Direct and it looks like a really fun game. I like how Mario has like this ability to like slip and slide through it was several stages. There's also this really creepy looking caterpillar character that kind of, kind of freaked me out. And it's just like, oh my god, that that character looks super pissed. So it's just like, oh my god. So I, I'll probably give. So I'll definitely yeah, consider giving a Super Mario Sunshine a try. And I'm also curious to see how I would fare with Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Galaxy uh, coming back to them. Especially Mario Galaxy. I'm honestly really surprised that I was able to beat that game. Because as kids, me and my sis often had a tough time like getting through entire like the main campaigns of games. It's only we started really... Um, we're starting to get through them more so as we got older. We started to get better at this as we got older. We became much more observant. Event and you know we listen to advice in order to beat games and so I'm curious to see how I would fare playing Super Mario Galaxy again and it also could be interesting since now that they're saying they're not requiring motion controls for Mario Galaxy I think it'll be like Super Mario Odyssey where you can use motion controls for some moves but it's not required for the majority of the games I'm curious to see how I would fare playing uh, Mario 64 and Mario Galaxy today and maybe seeing if if I could be to just like um, me and my sister were able to back in the day because yeah it's been a lot of fun so of the of all the announcements that Nintendo made Thursday regarding Super Mario I would say the one I'm most excited for would be a uh, Super Mario th Mario uh, 3D All-Stars because I think it would be really interesting to give Mario 64 and Galaxy another another go and it would also be my introduction to Mario Sunshine and I know that some people have complained about the price it is a $59.99 dollar game in the US and $79.99 in Canada which I am going to bite the bullet to pick up, although I think it would be nice, especially since um, this is basically Nintendo remastering these games, you know, polishing them and getting them to a higher resolution. I think it would I think it would have sweetened the deal if maybe they charged like maybe $50 or so. But in this case, I think, I think we're just going to bite the bullet. And I'm also hearing that some people aren't thrilled that Mario Galaxy 2 isn't included. As much as I know a lot of people complain about the number of ports the Switch gets, maybe we could see Mario Galaxy 2 coming to the Switch down the line. I personally think it would be even better if Nintendo uh, brought over the, the uh, virtual console system they had with the Wii U. Because on the Wii U, you were able to get uh, Wii games for virtual console and download them digitally, including Mario Galaxy 2. Which I think that's why, personally, for me, I'm not super upset because I still have my way of playing Mario Galaxy 2. I have it downloaded to my Wii U. But it would definitely be more convenient to play it on Switch because we're playing the Switch much more nowadays. So, I don't know. I think until then, I'll probably just stick to playing it on the Wii U. I honestly haven't really gotten the chance to play it. So, maybe I'll, I'll give it a try um, at some point. So, But as is, I'm, I'm still excited for a Super Mario 3D World. And some of the other announcements that um, they announced I think were pretty good. I don't think I'm going to pick up the enhanced version of Super Mario 3D World since I have that game for or Wii U and gotten pretty, I think I'm like halfway through the game and I still like playing it on Wii U so I'm not going to pick that up. 
if I could, I would really like to play. I would really like to pick up that game and watch with that has Super Mario Brothers in it. But given just how people were going crazy for the NES Classic and Super NES Classic, I'm not really sure if I'll be able to get my hands on the uh, game, the game and the Super Mario Brothers game and watch. I'm kind of concerned that people may buy them up and like sell them for a shit ton of money on eBay, but. I don't know. But as is the announcement that definitely excites me the most is Super Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So so let me know your thoughts down below. Are you interested in picking this compilation up? Have you ever played any of the three games that were included in the past? Or are you interested in revisiting them? Do you think they should have included Super Mario Galaxy 2? Leave all those thoughts down below. And until next time, this has been Blood Moon Bobby. And thank you all for watching. Hi everyone, thanks for watching this Blood Moon Bobby video. Like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel to see more of my videos and ring the bell to be notified about my latest uploads. Don't forget to follow me on social media for my latest opinions and video updates. I hope to see you next time.